People say there's no I in team. But as Michael Jordan once said, there isn't win. So if you want to win, you've got to figure out all of those individual eyes, and then they come together to support one another. So this isn't like we're a bunch of individuals. We are relying on one another. And the more that you, the team leader, can figure out, well, what can I rely on you for? And then what can you volunteer to us? The more that becomes a language in which other team members can rely on and expect from you. The most important ritual that every leader shares is a frequent, light touch, check-in about near-term future work. You're not giving someone feedback on their personality, where you're saying, oh, you're not very strategic. Instead, you're going, Next week, try this. How about this? Alter that. You're doing tweaks and adjustments in the work. And that happens every week. You do two things. One, you focus people on the near-term future. What can you affect? What can you affect? So the whole team becomes future-focused as opposed to retrospective, blaming, punitive. It becomes, you know, what can we change? What can we change? And then, of course, it becomes so much more collaborative because each individual knows what they bring to the team. That's what leading is. It's the constant paying attention to people and the intera interaction of them and their work.